Hello everyone, Harry here, welcome back, thanks for joining me. Really quick video today, this is just a quick little editing tip that I use an awful lot in Reaper. I thought I'd share it with you guys, it might save some of you a lot of money or a lot of time. So, I've got a drum track here. This drum track, I bounced all of this out of Get Good Drums, I'll put a link up on the screen up there, up there, up there, up there. Um, to, to that video where I show you how to bounce stuff out of software instruments into audio tracks. Something that I will usually do when I'm mixing drums is I will put a sample underneath the snare drum just to support it and give it a little bit of a consistent kick. Sometimes I do the same with the kick as well depending on how it sounds but you can kind of get a nice even consistent feel with just using compression and stuff on kick but with snare I think it's a little bit more important to have that that underpin, that backbone. Quite often people will use a, a triggering software. There's a Stephen Slate Drums one, which is really, really good, but it's also quite expensive. There's a few other cheaper or free alternatives that you can use, but again, um, it requires another plugin, another step. You've got to have your sample libraries, etc., and it's just a big old ball ache. But Reaper actually has the functionality to do all of those things without you having to spend an extra penny. So we've got our snare, snare tracker yet. Obviously we've got a little bit of bleed in there, we like that, we want to keep that, but what we want to do is on the strong hits we want to put a sample underneath it so when we compress it up it will point, poke its way through the mix and we'll have a nice strong snare drum. So dead easy, all we want to do is duplicate that snare track. Rename this to snare sample. And then what we do is highlight this, press D for dynamic split. Now, to do this, what we want to do is make sure we've got at transient selected. Now, I don't know if you can see, but what that does is it puts a little dotted line there on every single time there's a transient, which is every time a drum's heard. Now, there is some like bleed and stuff, and you've got to make sure that it's not selecting one of those as a transient, but you can select your, your sensitivity to pick up or reduce those. So you've just got to play with that a little bit until it picks up properly. We can press split, and what you'll see there is that every single time there is a drum hit, it's put a split on. So next step, highlight all of those. We then want to view Media Explorer, and this will bring up your Media Explorer. So I want, I want this snare sample, you drum brass, single shot, with room, wav, to replace all of those transients. So what we want to do is we want to right click on that, use as media source for selected items, come out of that and you will see it has replaced every snare drum with that sample. No additional software required, no fancy tricks, no gimmicks. And now we have Usually if you've done a sample or something like that, it's quite handy to invert the phase just because obviously you've got two snare drums hitting at exactly the same time. And there you go, that's it. That's a really quick way to add a sample to a drum track. I hope that helps a couple of you. It certainly helped me. It's yet another fantastic feature of Reaper, which I'm just learning all the time that there's pretty much nothing it can't do. You've just got to know how to do it. So that's it guys. Thank you very much for joining me. Um, if you fancy being absolute darlings, please hit the subscribe button, please like this video, please tell your friends about my channel if you're enjoying it. Every little helps. My intention is to carry on growing this channel slowly but steadily and uh, one day hopefully I'll be able to make a little bit of money off it and make some bigger and better videos. So thank you very much. See you all soon. Bye bye.